Hi guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Promise AK and here on this channel we help professionals navigate through data sciences, machine learning, artificial intelligence or any other technological advancement that might come up in the future. If you are new here, you're welcome. Thank you for joining the family. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm very sure that staying here, you're going to learn one or two things about data sciences, about programming and about Python. To my returning subscribers, you already know I feel about you. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for always coming back. Thank you for the support. <laughs> In this um, section, we're talking about arithmetic operations in Python so that you can carry out different operations using your different data types. So we'll talk about addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. So we can specify your x equals to 3, y is equals to 10. So if I put z equals to x plus y, it gives me 13 because 10 plus 3 is 13. I can specify x times y, it shows 30. So that you can carry out your normal mathematical operation you like your calculator. Then I could specify x minus y, that is 3 minus 10, it gives you minus 7. I could also carry out division, x divided by y, or no, uh, y divided by x, because it's a bigger number, let's not start dealing with zeros. So x divided by y, or y divided by x, sorry, so it gives you 3.3333333. For example, I just want to get the only the whole number, so we know we have whole number and decimals. If I use my double division sign, that's double backward slash, no, forward slash, sorry, double of that, it gives you the only, returns only the whole number. This wouldn't make sense because, okay, well, that's 3, 3, let's try 10 divided by 4, for example, it gives you 2.5. So if I use the double quotation, it shows 2. That means it just picks out the only the first whole number. Then to get the remainder, I could do x modular to use this percentage sign so if you're using my kind of laptop just use your shift and five shift five and by 10 modular um four it turns two okay this wouldn't make sense because okay we have so 10 divided by four is two that's two that is eight then we made that two but let's just try it with um x over y like we use our y so y modular x it turns one because 10 divided by three is nine then you have one 10 divided by 3 is 3, that's 3 times 3 is 9, then you have 1 remaining. I hope you understand what I mean. Yeah, that's for mass, then you could do normal division. Then using the double asterisk as multiplication sign gives you power. So if we do y power 3, that's 10 power 3 will be 10 times 10 times 10, it gives you um, 1,000, right? So that's what that means. You could also add strings together. You could also add strings together. I just put my name. So I have my name plus my surname. It gives you promise AK. So you could then, if I want to specify a space between it, so I have to put my uh, my quotation mark either single or double and put a space to show that there's space. And there's something you should know. You can add a string to an integer. You can add a string to a float. You can add a string to a list. So if you're adding, it has to be string string integer integer float float or list list because you return that to be an error for example if i want to write my name plus y it returned an error because i can add those two together but if i want to specify i could just put my name so to convert the integer to a string you could just put string in brackets the integer you want to specify it converts that to a string so you could say my name plus string y gives promise 10 so if i want to put a space in between i have to still put my quotation in between and put a space in between to create that space so i could also create um my second i could also co add lists together it's also called concatenating lists so just add two lists so i have my first list remember what my first list was my second list i'm going to specify cat dogs is going it's going to be a string so I can add my first list and my second list together so it gives you, you're able to add them. But if you notice, if I'm going to add just one list to a string, it's going to return an error. You could try that to see what that gives. So, it, and one thing about list, a list can contain a different data type. You could have strings, you could have floats, you could have integer within a list. Finally, we could also talk about 
the double quote equation equals to so you use one equals to when you want to specify that this is equals to this but if i want to say i want to kind of ask the computer equation is this equals to this so if i use x double equals to seven so it's, it's like asking the computer is x equals to seven if it's true it returns true if it's false it returns false so this one returns false so i also put my name is my name equals to premise remember now i'm using a capital letter p it says false because when i specified my name it was a small letter p also my name equals to i tried again my name equals to small premise it returns true i hope that makes sense so let's talk about mass functions so there are different functions embedded in python that you could use one of example is round so you could round you either round up or round down so you could specify if you want to round up or round down but just using round shows okay it rounds so if i do 34.5 it gives me 34 if i put 34.6 or 35.7 for example it gives me 35 so you just round it to the nearest whole number i also have absolute apps abs it gives you the absolute number so even if you have a negative number if you just specify absolute it returns it as a positive number i hope that makes sense so there are other functions that you cannot just call like square root you have to import the max math library so math is a library in python so to carry out all these mathematical application you just say import math math dot you cannot call math because you already imported math i could say math dot square root so you could say math dot square root put in bracket 40, 49 what's the square root of 49 7 you could also math dot let's say par so x power y or whatever you want to do you could there is sign there is cosine you could just go online and type math python math functions and you see a lot of functions that you can use for to carry out whatever you want to carry out so you don't have to carry everything in your head that's what i said remember you don't have to know everything there's always online resource for you to always go back to carry out any of your thing um in my next video i'll be talking about indexing so i don't want this video to be too long so i hope you've been able to follow through in everything we've been discussing and i hope you've been able to kind of follow along in my next video i'm going to talk about indexing what are index what an index I, and i mentioned a few um, a bit about that during the video but next i'm going to talk about indexing i hope you enjoyed it so far don't forget to put your question your comment anything you want to talk about put in the comment section and if you're having any challenges to put that i'm sure that myself or any other person within this community can help solve your problem thank you so much don't forget to like share 